to the second model, we have the equation of M3 as S1 bar into that is and of S2 bar plus of S3 that is R of S3 right. So let's write the circuit uh, uh, realization for that equation and so we already have S1 bar here right. We have already noted S1 so let's tap a wire from here itself and uh, we need S2 bar right. So I have S2 here I have to make it S2 bar so put a not gate here so I have got S2 bar here and now I have to and these two right S1 bar and S2 bar uh, and these two so I have to give the store input so far two input and gate and gate and then I have to or this whole thing to S3 that is plus plus means or okay S3 is here so I will just tap S3 from here and I will send all both these to the inputs of a or gate or gate so here I will get the output of M3 right so I've got M3 so I have already told that M4 is the complement of M3 so let's complement it by using the NOT gate so I've got M4 here <sighs> so that's it I guess right so I got M1 here M2 here and M3 here and M4 here. So there you go. This is the simplest, you know, line follower robot circuit diagram using just mere logic gates. I mean, just look at how many gates we have used. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right. Just using 7 logic gates, we have successfully completed an autonomous, self guiding, self programmed, and, uh, you know, uh, really working a line follower robot. Okay. So, uh, I'd like to you know, uh, go uh, more in depth on the logic uh, connections part as you have already, already seen the circuit diagram here and I hope you have already seen the data sheets of all the logic ICs okay uh, you may have seen in the data sheet as let's say this is the logic IC package IC package so it's uh, let's say what uh, 16 pin package right we have 8 pins here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right so let's say this is the notch here for the IC and uh, we will have uh, we should count it from here the pin numbers from here so this is 0th pin this is the 8th pin this is the 9th pin this is the 16th pin okay this is how it works and uh, you would have already seen that uh, if uh, in the data sheet you have to see this that uh, the AND gate will have uh, 4 AND gates uh, 4 or 4 uh, and 6 NOT gates in the 7 4 uh, series of ICs you should just uh, really go through the data sheet in depth so you will have 4 AND gates here ok it will uh, be inside the IC and so uh, as seen in the circuit diagram you know we, we had a uh, connection for an AND gate right so you just give input to these two pins and you will get output in the next pin okay this is one two three so using this IC diagram and the circuit diagram already seen uh, 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 already seen you construct a diagram circuit diagram with the ICs on it okay so that you can actually solve the ICs of how the AND gates or gates and OR gates are connected and you have to take care about the VCC and uh, ground also okay so that is how you actually make and implement a line follower robot using logic gates hard as a hardware system so the logic gates are actually working as the CPU of your robot okay so no need of programming no need of anything else just some good uh, you know algorithm design and using logic gates you will have a very high speed robot that is very important high speed is very important because what differentiates logic gates as a CPU from the normal microcontroller robots is in microcontroller robots when you are running the C program it will be working the program will be executing in a series fashion right so that will actually slow down some uh, functions of may slow down some functions of your robot if you are doing some uh, you know heavy work but here in the case of logic gates you won't have something called as the clock 
right? You won't have the clock frequency itself. Clock is not there. As soon as you give input here, everything works in a parallel fashion. Okay? As soon as you give input here, it will only take about nanoseconds of time to give the output at the output pin of the logic gate. So your robot is going to be so fast at taking decisions, it will never ever fail in taking a decision. If your sensors are good and your algorithm is good, your line follower is going to rock just like ours, okay? So, and yes, I'd also uh, like to add add that uh, I have done a basic kind of simple line follower robot by using just three uh, sensors as inputs okay uh, uh, you know you can uh, you know you can dig in deep and um, you can add so many sensors uh, as for as you wish you know and the number of sensors you wish and uh, you can increase the complexity of the robot to make it more efficient in following the line okay uh, for, for the sake of you know helping you with the complex uh, solving with the complex logic equations etc so that is why I have added the link to the uh, kmap solving software which you can use easily and uh, make it work and uh, I'd really love to see some creative ideas I mean we would really like to see some creative ideas on uh, different types of robot that you may be interested in and you will be doing using logic gates etc so please do contact us feel free to contact us uh, on our uh, Facebook group which has been put over here on the post below the video so I will uh, we would really love to see you know our work and our video tutorial series being a success and we really like to see your uh, videos on your robots etc okay so so after all these video tutorial series I'd like to conclude to you that you are now officially done with your robotics video tutorials and uh, is ready to make your own life for a robot using the logic kit okay so I'd like to see your robots you know try with different things and also I'm gonna make some videos about obstacle detection robots and also I'm gonna uh, continue on the video tutorial series and will be making the my uh, robot based on microcontrollers different types of microcontrollers or processors if I get to get a chance so uh, you know keep watching and keep reading the posts that we post in our blog below and uh, hopefully in a week i will be seeing your robot and your pictures in you know in our forum okay so i'd like to congratulate you for finishing the video tutorial series and all the very best for your first robot okay see ya